Hey, what is up, guys? Marcy here, back to do another video, and we are on R22G. This is the newly released R22 update. I was going to call it originally R23, but I don't want to disturb the server admin because he is currently busy in real life, so I kept the naming convention. R22 is what it's going to be called. Anyways, we're going to be on Tournament Crater. This is the remake by Aquatech. I must say, I am quite impressed by the visuals on this map. I do enjoy the change of scenery from Aquatech, so phenomenal job from him. And to Desolate the Trooper for his awesome map contributions. He definitely has a talent when it comes to world building. Anyways, this game is insane. I'm versus Numfish. I know Numfish likes to go for V35 strategies. I know he likes to go for a hammerhead at the beginning of the game. So my plan here is to do a similar sort of strategy, but with a Venom instead. That way, if he builds a hammerhead, I'll be able to chase it down with my Venoms. I did just say Venoms. That wasn't a mistake. I'm going to be building two because I was thinking at this point that maybe he'd go for a missile hammerhead, which would counter one Venom. But if I build a second Venom, that would not be sufficient for him. So I'm going to ensure that this works by building two Venoms. Yes, a little bit of poker happening here from either one of us, but that's why I enjoy this map. The spikes at the beginning certainly spicing things up as far as gameplay is concerned. And what do you know? I find an outpost on the right-hand side. He's forced to sell that off straight away. If I had deployed there and built a Titan or two, I would have been in big trouble. wouldn't have been able to scout it. He would have had Titans in my expansion. And it's very difficult as a Nod faction to hold that back. Though less so as my Decane admittedly, because you can sell power plants for the turrets for those awakened squads for that five second EMP. But I'm hurting when it comes to eco. Only two harvesters. I've got two venoms, but they're not doing a whole lot. I mean I can DPS down a power plant, but that's not much better than a rifleman in a fox up targeting a power plant. It's still going to force him to repair that if he wants to keep it alive. It's going to take a while to DPS that down. The Venoms are really just out to stop him from recapping the spike that I'm going to be taking from him. I've got that tip trooper as well, which I built and put in a carrier just to degarrison those bunkers if he had put infantry in them because that would have been really, really difficult. You see the DPS of the Venoms is really low. They're not going to be DPSing down a bunker. So I needed that tip trooper to clear it if it was garrison. But I'm making use of with the units I have on the map, which isn't a lot. I've got four harvesters and two refs. MC moving to expansion. Numfish already on his third refinery. I'm very much behind in this game. There is no disputing that. I am extremely behind. And I've got three tip spikes. I did booby trap that third spike, so if he manages to successfully get an engineer there, then he won't be able to claim that spike back. It'll just auto destruct. That's the cool thing about the booby trap. I'm gonna land the EMP on this pitbull. Pitbulls only take three shots to kill venoms, so the EMP there was crucial in keeping those alive. I want to try and maximize the cost effectiveness of my units. I'm trying to intercept his. Engineer, it is a combat engineer because he's steel talons, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get this tip trooper to that spike to secure it before that engineer caps the spikes. But I'm trying my hardest to intercept this engineer, but I was too late and he went in the spike, and the spike did get destroyed. Now, the good thing is it was destroyed, so I'm gonna deny him that $600 a minute. Only now do I get down my 4th refinery, but at least I have a 4 ref eco at this point. And a bunch of pitbulls are heading my way. With nothing to defend it off, I'm in big trouble. Taking some blue tiber while I can. It's risky business at this point since he has pitbulls and those can home in on the harvesters and take them out. Venom's just... Maneuvering around the place. I'm not sure what to do with these. They're not exactly useful at this point in time They can't really kill anything 
But if I keep them alive, maybe with supercharged particle beams, if the game goes to tier 3, would make them useful. I'd be able to kill a hammerhead then. But as it stands, venoms this early on aren't that useful. And he's trying to do a multi pronged attack here. Gonna go for my harvester with that blue tiger. I'm gonna be forced to use the EMP. I didn't click the ability, I instead use Control F1, which is the default hotkey for the support power in that position. So the first support power that you see at the top is by default Control F1. And that's how I'm able to quickly access it for use as I was doing there. And I was able to get all those pitbulls and save my harvesters. I also was able to kill a lot of them in the process, if not all of them. Raider Buggy is pretty good against pitbulls, but they take a long time to DPS them down. You need to try and stall or prevent your opponent from getting that damage off with EMPs for the buggies to work. But the reason why I'm building buggies is to support these Enlightened, because he's going to be going for Hammerheads once he sees his Enlightened. And Hammerheads, obviously with AP Ammo, extremely effective against infantry. So this is why I've got the buggy spam and I've got the Enlightened. Building a Tip Trooper as well, just to de-garrison that bunker that he has on the left hand side not only that but i want to garrison it up with my enlightened against those wolverines wolverines whip yammer exceptionally powerful against enlightened but if they're emp'd then obviously they can't shoot back and that makes them pretty vulnerable at that point tier three is now done for me he's going to go ahead and target this emp control center can't blame him after losing all those pitbulls early on gonna reverse move here I'm not sure if I can hold all this off though, because I've only got, well I say only, about 16 radar buggies, but even then, Wolverines with APM is so insane. The DPS is crazy. But my plan here is not to try and DPS this army down with Enlightened and buggies, which is failing to do so. Those mortars are doing so much damage, all my Enlightened are getting picked off by those mortars and AP ammo, but the tip vapor bomb comes in and I was able to slice a large chunk of that army and before he targets my chemical plant I'm going to use the C Tiberium I don't want that to die I'm going to lose a lot of resources just letting a chemical plant die that's three grand dies extremely quickly I got that $1,500 back and now I'm trying to hold this army off it looks like I'm in peril it looks like I'm going to lose the game here and now I've got just one avatar and an obelisk but with these pitbulls and wolverines attacking me I don't think I have enough but a clutch enlightened as well comes out of that hand and off and I was able to land an EMP there the stealth disruption towers aren't doing a whole lot for me since pitbulls you know in they have stealth detection so having stealth isn't really a big deal at this present time Maybe it's a bit foolish to be engaging this army since he still has a chunk of Wolverines left and with just one avatar he can overwhelm that. Harvest is going to the green field but I was a bit... I thought that was a decent play since it, it would at best force his pitbulls to attack those harvesters and run into a novice of light and it would keep my main safe but he instead decides to go in for the avatars which was the right choice and with those two avatars down I don't know how I'm going to defend this off, but with the stealth tank out now, the Enlightened, so insane. The EMP radius of Enlightened is crazy, man. And this is Steel Talents, this is not Zircon, so Steel Talents for sure have the tools they need to kill stealth tanks, pitbulls, hammerheads, wolverines, orcas, definitely the way to go, or even orcas with sensor pods on top of mouth tanks. But I don't think he has tier 3 just yet, or he could have. And we're going for the counter attack and I captured the expansion point on the right hand side. That's one difference about this new version of Tournament Crater. The expansion point has been moved to a more suitable location. It's much more useful where it is now. And now I'm repaying the damage that he caused on me. I'm going to kill one or two of his harvests as he does manage to retreat there with that one on really damaged mode. Gonna micro these stealth tanks. Stealth tanks definitely the unit that keeps Nod in the fight. You, ne you never give up if you have a couple stealth tanks on the map. They can do wonders. They are probably Nod's best unit. I don't think anything competes with that because they're very versatile. They can kill tanks and air just as well. 
though they are very lightly armored and can be picked off easily. Anyways, lots of hammer hits in my base, and this was unscouted. I have no double A there. These stealth tanks are really badly damaged. I can't defend this off with stealth tanks because they need to get repairs, and I'm going for specters, which is the worst possible unit to build against this unit cop. I don't think there is a worse unit to build. Pipples in mass in my base. The mortars no longer do friendly fire damage. So, yeah, those mortars are just killing my harvesters as well as my infrastructure there. The refineries are going to go down. The stealth tanks come in. They kill the hammerheads. Very effective, those stealth tanks with the Tyrim Core missiles upgrade. And with more pitbulls coming in, it's going to be really difficult against these pits. I don't have enough. He's got way too many pitbulls. Five stealth tanks, but I know that I can't just be on the defensive this whole time. If I am, then he's just going to snowball. And even if I hold this off, he's going to come in with another army and finish the job. So what I do here is I split off two of the five stealth tanks to attack his base once again. And I'm going to target down these harvesters that are long leeching that tip field. He may even have an expansion refinery set up there, much like I do. But I'm trying to prevent him from harvesting. He's going into my base. He totally caught me by surprise. Those specters are doing what they can. Admittedly, they will struggle to defend my base off because those pitbulls are extremely mobile. But not so much the case when the Enlizen come out and EMP them and one or two specter shots in combination with those enlightened EMPs can be an unforeseen counter to pitbull spamming. You wouldn't certainly think of it. Yeah, let's just make a couple of enlightened EMP the pitbulls and kill them all with one or two spectre shots. If you need to do the, if you need to improvise, then that can work. Venoms, those are out mostly to kill hammerheads because I'm going for enlightened once again. If I can kill the hammerheads, then the Enlightened can EMP the Pipples and the Stealth Tanks can kill the Pipples without getting, taking any damage in return. We need to get those Stealth Tanks back to base. I don't have enough forces over there to hold off those pits. Those Enlightened are cutting them off in their path. One of them has promoted to Elite. It is not far away from promoting to that Heroic rank. And that is going to be GG Numfish decides to call it there. And despite me taking endless sums of damage, despite me getting my base ravaged and almost losing multiple times and that crazy early game from both of us, I do come out ahead there and win that one as Mark Decay. And I thought that was really cool. It's a really good debut of R22G and I can't wait to bring you all more games on this patch. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the button, smash the like button. I really do appreciate that. And before I go, as always, thank you to my patrons for supporting me and keeping my channel going. Thank you for supporting the patch as well. Um, without your support, I would not have had the, <laughs> the motivation to put out that humongous update, which fixed the EMP teleport exploit and more. So this is it from me, Mike. Guys, thank you very much for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.